Hello my friends, I am Jihondo. It is time once again to play some Judgment. We're about to start Season 3. Uh, I was playing in Season 2 on Challenging, and it was just a hair too tough for me, given I got slaughtered pretty badly. So I'm going to try it on Forgiving. I don't want to put it down all the way to Casual, because I think that would be way too easy. So we're going to try on Forgiving. Uh, map Seed... Sure, whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever that is, that'll do. Now, let's go ahead and get our starting party. I'm not going to be playing too much into the game. Basically, this video is just to get the party created, because uh, I want to give a chance for people to jump in if they want a character named a specific thing, and to name the combat group, stuff like that. So I want to just make this one video just a short one, and then I'm going to leave it for a couple of days before I start up again, just to give you guys some time. So, But let's at least get some uh, stats going here. Uh, Gardener is a good one. I was kind of hoping to get something else, though, as well. So let's try. Uh, Insomniac is a terrible one. Gangster is cool, but we don't get Uzis for quite a while, so... Okay, crafting is really good. I don't like the slow part, though. This part may take a while. This actually video may end up being a, a decent length, just because it might take me that long just to generate the initial stats for the party. But, anyway. Uh, cultist is irrelevant. Anemic is terrible. Again, we've had somebody who's a gardener. What was Spook again? Oh, that was the one where you... Uh, you kind of sneak around a little bit and you do sniper rifle so it's not it's a bit similar to the scout one except this one gives you awareness generation bonus but a work speed penalty so I don't think that's really great for our first character even though the extra action evasion obviously would be good but I don't think it's gonna be good we need somebody that's got you know pots is pretty much all the way around uh, Hoarder is a positive one, Health is a positive one, and Weirdo is a positive one. So basically, um, the scavenge will, of course, mean that we can dig through the ruins, like the rubble, at the initial base quicker, which is just convenient. The movement speed bonus really is what I consider the positive here. Obviously, healthy is a good thing. And we won't have dark or occult weapons for a little while, but when we do, like, for example, the Demonite Bow, You'll be perfect for it. So, I'm going to take you as the first character. Obviously, you may not end up being Bobby. If uh, you want a character named, let me know which one and what to name it to. So, that one may very well change. But anyway, let's move on to the second character slot. Occult Dabbler is not that helpful right away. I don't tend to do occult research for a little while. And Weirdo, we already saw. We don't need two of those. Which, I don't remember that one. Okay, so you're good at occult research and rituals. Not immediately helpful. The hex ability is kind of helpful because it lets you screw over an opponent if I remember to use it. Uh, Berserker is not a, a particularly good one in my opinion because of the evasion and accuracy penalties. Yes, the attack speed and damage bonuses are great, but you're going to get hit more often and you're not going to hit as often, so no. Building and crafting huge bonuses, and you'll be a tools person, potentially, and healthy. Okay, I'm fine with that. Build and craft speed are both really good. So for the last slot, I do kind of want somebody who's either good at farming or gathering, is what I'm going to be shooting for. Ex-convict is a quarry bonus, which is not great, and it has a health penalty, which I'm really not happy with, so no. Uh, evasion bonus is kind of neat, but not what I'm looking for. Oh, there's the scout when I was talking about. So you see how it's also a one that can start with sniper rifles, but it's more about patrol and vision and that, so it's not really ideal. X-Comp means you're a pistols person, you're actually terrible at farming. And then Berserk again, no thanks. There we go, Gardener, but anemic, which is terrible and Brute, which will reduce your work speed, so nope. Uh, builder, we've already got somebody who does that, and actually Architect is a better version of Builder. Gardener, very good. 
Ber Berserker, which again I don't like. Scavenger. Okay, yes, here we go. This is exactly the kind of thing I wanted. Uh, so gather water speed and chop speed. The scavenge speed bonus is not that big a deal because we already have that over here. But the gather water speed and the chop speed I am very happy with. So this is our initial party in terms of stats. Like I say, if we want anybody renamed, just let me know who and what their new name shall be. And I'll be more than happy to switch that for you. And also if you want to do any kind of customization to what they look like, which is something I've never bothered to do with any character, but I certainly don't mind to do if you'd like me to. Uh, I'll leave that on the screen for a second so you can read it. Uh, what I'm talking about in terms of customization is you can actually like change their hair, their hair color, what, what clothes they're wearing, that sort of thing. So if anything there you want me to change as well as their name, just let me know. Like I say, it's not something I ever bother with of my own, but I don't mind doing. Uh, let's just get the initial stuff sorted out here. Um, so right off the bat, I'm going to do the usual bit of assigning everything to be workable even though they're obviously not going to be doing all this work for quite some time but let's at least get it so it's an option for them let's set their initial priorities so you are the builder and crafter you are the scaver you are on water and chopping. You, I guess you can also do some scaving, but you're mostly farming. You're also farming. Uh, research is going to have to wait a little bit. Just trying to get some of their preferred things up towards the front. Okay. I think that will do for the immediate. Let's build the initial buildings. Uh, this map's nice and open in the center, so that's convenient. So I guess we'll go ahead and build pretty much right in the center. Put the initial house right about there. Put the initial well right out in front of it. Okay. Uh, we still have to build the bed and food table, but I'll do that at the beginning of next episode. I just wanted to get those basics done. And the other thing I would, I'm going to do real quick is create the away party. Um, I don't think it makes too much difference which ones I put in it. Well, you have that extra health, so you're in. So do you. Okay, so it's you two. Oh, you won't even let me create it until they're armed. Okay, I guess I'm not creating a task force immediately then. I guess I'll wait till I get to the point in the storyline, which is not that far in, but I'll wait until we get that far to actually create the party. Um, knowing that is coming though, if you have a suggestion for the name of the party or what the logo and color should be, let me know in the comments. And again, I'll be more than happy to set it like that. But otherwise, I'm going to call that it for this episode. Like I say, it was just a quick short one, just a setup kind of video. And then uh, once this is up, I'll leave it up for a couple of days. Anyone who wants to make a name change or an appearance change or what have you, please just leave me a comment and I'll be more than happy to take care of it. And otherwise, we are starting Season 3, so thanks for watching, folks. See you later. Bye now. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and until next time, have a good one. See ya.